Before I start, a bit of background. Back in 2019, Char, 34-4, 20 KO, then the world champion after overpowering Alexander Ustinov, got the call to fight interim champion Trevor Bryan. This kicked off a multi-year saga that saw Don King win two purse bids with seven-figure offers and twice declined to send Char contracts, allowing King to swap in his own fighters against Bryan. The WBA ultimately stripped Char nearly three years after first ordering the Bryan bout, and in return, Char added the WBA to his lawsuit against King. While that portion of Char's lawsuit was reportedly dismissed in March, it seems that wasn't the end of it. In a delightfully begrudging blog post, the sanctioning body announced today that they'd reinstated Char, a, as part of a court settlement. This comes less than a week after they finally eliminated the world title by having Alexander Yusik fight Daniel Dubois, and the WBA makes sure to point this out in the post. It gets better, though. After a thorough study by the WBA on the best way to execute this move, Char must now fight Gerald Miller, 26-0-1, 22KO, by October 14th, then. This is despite Miller sitting at number 5 in their rankings behind the ostensibly not booked Martin Bacol and Lenny Perro. It honestly feels punitive. No, we wouldn't give you the dignity of losing to a genuine contender. You will fight the 330-pound drug cheat, and you will like it. I was worried that Gilberto Mendoza had gone soft, but the man still got it. He even did his classic bogus rankings trick, swapping Miller's and Arslanbek Makhmadov's spots from the previous month, despite neither man fighting in the interim. Now we just need Frizo Quinto to get involved. 